interaction of X-rays with matter. By now we have learned about the X-ray machine and how X-rays are produced in the X-ray tube in the form of characteristic and Bremsstrahlen radiation. The primary X-ray beam emitted out of the tube travels towards the patient tissues. When it interacts with matter, secondary radiation is produced. This interaction between the X-ray photons and the tissue occur in three ways. First, some of the X-rays penetrate the tissues to reach the film without interacting with tissue atoms. Second, some of the primary photons get completely absorbed or attenuated by the patient tissue by a process called photoelectric effect. Thirdly, some primary photons first interact with the atom of the patient tissue, then create a scattered radiation by deflecting from its original path. This radiation either reaches the film or travels away from it. This could happen in two ways, called Compton scattering and coherent scattering. Now let us discuss these interactions at the atomic level, beginning with the photoelectric effect. As mentioned earlier, the photoelectric effect is basically what happens at the atomic level when X-ray photons are absorbed by the patient tissue. Here, an incident X-ray photon collides with an electron of the tissue atom, depositing all of its kinetic energy into the electron. The incident photon then ceases to exist. The kinetic energy imparted to the electron is more than the binding energy, causing the electron to eject out of the atom. It is then called the recoil electron or the photoelectron. An orbital vacancy is now created, which is filled by an outer shell electron of a higher energy state. During this reshuffling, energy is released in the form of characteristic radiation. The ejected photoelectron then interacts with another patient atom and the process repeats. This increase in the X-ray dose is harmful for the patient. About 27% of interactions in a dental X-ray beam exposure involve photoelectric absorption. Next, let us understand what happens at the atomic level when X-ray photons interact with patient tissue. Here, scattered radiation. A type of secondary radiation is emitted when there is a change in the direction of an X-ray photon with or without loss of energy. This can be of two types, coherent scattering and Compton scattering. Coherent scattering is also called Rayleigh or elastic scattering. Here, a low energy incident photon coming from the X-ray machine interacts with the outer shell electron of an atom in the patient. It does not possess enough energy to eject out the electron and create an ion. Therefore, the electron oscillates or vibrates in its position at a frequency equal to that of the incident photon, which then ceases to exist. Once the electrons come back to rest, electromagnetic radiation or secondary photons are emitted at an angle to the path of the incident X-ray photon. Here what we must note is that the incident photon and the secondary photons both have identical wavelengths and energies, which explains the term coherent. It is like playing with a yo-yo, where the speed when released is equal to the speed it comes back with. Therefore, this type of scattering is also called elastic scattering and accounts for about 7% of the total number of interactions in a dental exposure. Now let us move on to Compton or inelastic scatter. This is the most common but least desirable, making up for about 57% of photon interactions in a dental beam. 
it negatively affects the patient dose, occupational dose and image quality. Here the X-ray photons interact with the outer shell electrons that are loosely bound to the nucleus. On nearing the electron, the incident photon gives off some of its energy to the electron, knocking it out of its orbit. This process is called ionization and the electron is called Compton or recoil electron. Continuing ionizing interactions within the tissues gradually depletes all the energy of these electrons, causing secondary radiation, which is damaging to the body tissues. The incident photon exits the atom and continues in a new deflected direction with reduced energy and is now called a scattered photon. A minimal deflect or scatter results in a small loss of energy and vice versa. The scattered photon undergoes further interactions within the patient tissue, which could be Compton or photoelectric. It could also escape from the tissues, being a cause of concern to the clinical environment. Now let us summarize what we have learned so far. The photoelectric effect is a process where a high-energy photon is absorbed by an inner shell electron. All the photon energy is transferred to the electron, so the photon disappears. Energetic electron is ejected out, leaving a vacancy, which is filled by an outer shell electron emitting characteristic radiation. In contrast, Compton scatter involves a high-energy incident photon sharing only a part of its energy to the outer shell electron. The photon knocks the electron out, but unlike the photoelectric effect, here the scattered photon still has some energy of the incoming photon and can still travel through the patient. These scattered photons may then proceed to generate photo interactions, both inside and outside the patient, resulting in decrease in the image quality but increased patient dose. In coherent scattering, the incident photon itself has low energy, thereby being unable to displace an outer shell electron, allowing it to vibrate in its position. Once the vibration settles down to normal, secondary radiation is produced. Now let us compare the three types of X-ray interactions at an atomic level. Photoelectric effect and Compton scattering need a high-energy incident photon. Coherent scattering involves a low-energy photon. Once these photons transfer energy to the electron, they cease to exist in both photoelectric effect and coherent scatter. In Compton scatter, the photon continues in a different direction. Complete energy of the incident photon is transferred to the electron in both photoelectric and coherent scatter, whereas only a fraction of energy is transferred in Compton scattering. Once energy is received, the electron from the tissue atom is ejected out in photoelectric and Compton scatter whereas it vibrates in its position in coherent scatter. So this was about the interaction between x-rays and matter. We hope you had fun learning with us.